Brought to you by... Welcome back to the worst fucking holiday in the history of the fucking world. And no, it's not because I'm single and lonely. <laughs> Today, we continue our personal celebration of the darker and more depraved side of this bullshit by taking a look at the heartfelt 90s slasher, Valentine. This film was birthed by the full-blown slasher revival that came in the wake of Scream, a revival that prompted director Jamie Blake to have his pick of the stars, in this case landing David Boreanaz, Katherine Heigl, and Denise Richards, to name a few. Taking the reins of the novel of the same name by author Tom Savage, this adaptation follows Kate, who is in a troubled relationship with journalist Adam Carr, but she receives support from her best friends, the same four girls she's known since grade school, Paige Prescott, Dorothy Wheeler, Lily Voigt, and Shelley Fisher. However, when Shelley is unexpectedly murdered, the other girls begin receiving gruesome Valentine's Day cards signed J.M. They begin to speculate that the killer could be an awkward schoolmate named Jeremy Melton, whom they once teased mercilessly at a school dance, leading to him being humiliated and beaten. Dorothy in particular is afraid that the false accusation that she made against Jeremy might be causing him to seek bloody retribution. But the macho detective assigned to investigate Shelley's murder has some other suspects in mind. As the body count is racked up and Dorothy's lavish Valentine's Day party approaches, Kate begins to suspect that the true identity of Jeremy, who likely underwent some plastic surgery to alter his appearance, could hit very close to home. I may not be the biggest fan of the day in question, but I have always loved the concept of mashing its themes and traditions into the formulas of the horror genre. What we get in this case is a cheap, fun popcorn flick. Think 90s teen drama meets timid slasher, very much in the vein of Kevin Williamson's other works, complete with slightly lighthearted acting, off-the-cuff topical references, and a creatively masked killer that falls right in line with the overarching theme of the plot. This happens to be one of my more favorite slasher films of the 90s. Despite the fact that it's paced a little too quickly, the acting isn't of the highest quality, and the plot twist is easy to spot from a mile away. The film just has an aesthetic that appeals to me, possibly because of the fact that it makes a mockery out of a day that I absolutely dislike. The film is not to be considered great for a variety of reasons, and I have no doubt that the filmmakers know that they weren't making anything groundbreaking here. However, I do feel that they created something that both stood up against other slasher films of the time, and brought a little bit of a different twist on them when compared to what we had seen up to this point. This is a film that clearly knows what it's trying to be and makes no excuses for itself. It has a lot of fun material in a variety of ways, delivering inventive kills, sexy characters, and a story that is at the very least good enough. I'm giving Valentine a B-. If you enjoy cheap slasher flicks the way I do, then this could definitely be something you will enjoy. As always, I'd love to hear what you guys think down below. I know many of you probably won't really like this one. It's nothing particularly deep or memorable, but I do feel it is one that the right viewers will have a fun time with. If you enjoyed today's video, please feel free to let me know. It's just a quick scroll down there to that comment section below. If you're enjoying the channel more than words can describe, shoot me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. If you'd like to show your support even more, come find ETF on Patreon or Tippy, where every pledge and every tip brings you rewards galore. Not to mention allowing me to bring you more films to explore. But all jokes and rhymes aside, 
If you have any films that you would like me to check out, or that you might like to see reviewed on this channel, feel free to reach out to me here down in the comments, or over on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And I will catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.